Hello everyone, Sonargon Productions here. Today's video will be about the Triassic period, which occurred many millions of years ago. This is the first part of a three-way series in which we will dive into the information and history of the Mesozoic Era. The Triassic Era was a very different place in a very different time. It was almost alien. Everything there was different, even the climate. The high CO2 levels of the time meant that life in the Triassic was pretty much always on its heels. The ecosystem here, or ecosystems here, consisted mostly of primitive plants, like ferns, and also the first conifers started to evolve here. I should point out that dinosaurs were not dominant until the ending few million years of the Triassic, when the CO2 levels rapidly increased. It was dinosaurs and an incredible lung system that allowed them to survive this extinction, which was the Triassic to Jurassic extinction. It is a common misconception that dinosaurs were the dominant type of animal since the Permian to Triassic extinction. The continents at this time had basically combined together to form Pangaea, a large supercontinent. Pangaea, or Pangaea, consisted of basically all modern-day land masses put together and looked like this. The Triassic period's dinosaurs consisted of mostly late archosaurs, which is the family tree line that dinosaurs and pterosaurs deviated from. They were just beginning to separate into the Sordician branch, which gave rise to birds themselves, and the Ornithischian branch, which gave rise to some bird traits. Dinosaurs like Herrerasaurus and Plateosaurus were common throughout this period, and once the Triassic to Jurassic extinction happened, these dinosaurs and alike very quickly re reproduced and diversified to form the enormous ecosystem of the Jurassic. And that is where we will leave off for today. Thank you for watching this video and make sure to watch this channel for more updates on this series. See you all later and bye bye.